welcome back to my channel. Now we all experience stress in life. I'm going to talk to you about some strategies or some things to do in order to cope with your stress. So keep watching and let's get to it. Number one, what is so important is to try to pinpoint what is causing you to stress. If you can pinpoint what is causing you to stress, ask yourself, can you change it? Or is it something that's out of your control? If it's something that's out of your control, what you're gonna have to try to do is try to cope with it. And some coping mechanisms that you can use are the following. Number one, try to do something for you. Take a day for yourself and give yourself some TLC. Go get your nails done. Go get a pedicure. Maybe go shopping. You go out to lunch with a friend. Or maybe just relaxing in your backyard reading a good book. Anything just to change your mind and to not think about what is actually causing you to stress. I know it's difficult to not think about what's causing you to stress. But if it's something that you can't change, try to change your mind so that way you stay physically and mentally healthy. Just know that stress doesn't last forever. You might be stressed because of a certain situation and it might just be temporarily. And if it's temporarily, temporary, temporary, temporarily, is there an L in there? Fresh air is always good. Now I know if it's a rainy day, can't really go outside, it's kind of a gloomy day, that can affect you a bit more. And that's totally normal. I think it affects everybody. Weather does have a lot of effect on us. Number two, keep yourself busy. Try to keep your mind busy because if your mind is not busy, you are concentrating on that stress even more. If you do something to try to distract your mind, your mind will not be concentrating only on that stress, but it's also going to be concentrating on something else. So that way you're not only concentrating on what's causing you that stress. Number three, you can talk about it. Talk to a good friend or somebody that you're super close to and just pour out your feelings. It could even be your spouse. Tell them how you're feeling, tell them what's causing you distress, and they might even help you. They might give you advice, they might give you their opinion. Talking to somebody else and having somebody else listen to your concerns and your stress also helps because then you feel like you're acknowledged. Your feelings are acknowledged, so the way you are feeling is being acknowledged by somebody else, somebody that you love, and they might actually have other strategies for you in order to help cope or help deal with this stressful situation. If this is a stress that you can change, then do the change, make a difference. Maybe this is not for me. Maybe I need something more or I need something that's better for my health, something that is gonna make me happy. So if you are experiencing any sorts of stress, ask yourself these questions. What is causing you to stress? Can I change it? If I can, let's make a change. If I can't change it, then let's either try to use some coping mechanisms in order to cope with this stress or try to distract our minds so that we're not constantly concentrated on that stress because constantly thinking about it is going to increase that stress and it's possibly going to cause you anxiety and so on. So just keep that in mind. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and press that bell button beside the subscribe button to get notified whenever I post my next video. Thanks guys.